must be exhausted. No, not really. It's okay. part of the job. And we're live. Hello, everyone. So excited to be here today at the Facebook office. Yes. And um, I'm doing a live from my page, which is super duper exciting. So, yeah, lots of questions today. And before we begin with your questions, my favorite color is black. <laughs> Hi to all of you, and I love you too. Yeah. Well, that's amazing. I think that's the best introduction we could yeah. have asked for. But Shruti wasn't in the house, and this is your first time visiting the Facebook Mumbai office. Yes. How did you like this little studio that we have? It's um, very fun and colorful. There's this, behind the camera, there's this really fun Lego type wall with like the scenes and the sights of Mumbai with various emoji thingies around it. So it's very quirky. It's nice. Amazing. And how have you been up to? Like, what have you been up to and how are you doing? These are the two questions that I'm most right now. I am doing very well. I'm enjoying the fact that it's starting to rain in Bombay, Mumbai, which I love. And I've been, what have I been up to? I've been up to promoting my film, Ben Hogi Teri, which is releasing tomorrow, which you all have to go and watch. Oh, so Ben Hogi Teri, that's a very interesting title. And uh, please tell all your fans and everyone who's watching, what is Ben Hogi Teri and what is this movie about? So Behano Ki Teri is a really fun, um, entertaining film with um, stories that you can relate to and characters that you can relate to. Gattu and Binni, Gattu being Raj and Binni being me, are characters that we've all known at some point in our lives or probably have shades of in ourselves as well. And it's a really, really fun movie about relationships and lives and their little community and their little pocket. and everything that revolves around that. But I'm sure that if you watch the film, you'll love how entertaining it is and the fact that in these rather heavy times, you'll have something that will make you genuinely smile. That's very sweet. Um, how did this character come about? Like, you know, if uh, you just have to explain your character in... So Binny, basically, what I loved about this character that I o was offered was, I've been offered characters before either based loosely on someone or, or on a historical character maybe or um, you know it's just a character that the director or the script writer have envisioned and then we kind of work around that but what I loved about Binny is it's actually my director's sister he based this entire character on his real life sister so to have that kind of and obviously he must have written it with a lot of love because it shows and um, even better was that we shot in Lucknow and we shot in people's homes. So we were like, everything you see in the movie is like their living room and their bedroom and their street and their front door. And they were so lovely and welcoming. So I would say that ultimately what I took away from this film was feeling of reality. You know, it feels so much like life. And I think, I hope, fingers crossed, that it's translated. Well, we're sure that it will. I think your fans will be super excited to see you in a new role altogether. Uh, we'll come back to Behano Ogi Deri and mm -hmm. we'll talk a little bit more about your co-actor and uh, there's something interesting that's happening in the movie, but we'll get to all of that. Yeah. Since this is your first ever Facebook Live, uh, yes. I'm sure your fans... We can ask you their questions. We have a bunch of questions that we want you to answer so that we can okay. just get it out of the way. Sure. Yes. So this is a rapid fire with Shruti. Okay. And you have to be honest, you have to be quick, and you have to be witty if you, I mean, yeah. Is there any other way? <laughs> Alright, so are you ready? Yep. Awesome. Full name? Shruti Raj Lakshmi Hasan. What's your pet name? Shruti. What's the one name you hate being called? Oh my god. The name I, I hate it when people mispronounce my name and my surname. So I get Shruti, Surudi, Strudi, Hasan. No, it's Shruti Hasan. And I would really love if you could say it that way. Shruti Hasan. All the fans who are watching, please make a note. Uh, what was your first job? My first job ever in life was uh, what I got paid for was as a singer. So it's worked out pretty well. Very cool. Who was your childhood idol? My childhood idol, they kept changing really as my interests kept changing. But I think someone I've always looked up to is my dad. Yeah. A character you have portrayed that is the closest to you as a person? I haven't really played any character that's a lot like me. I find 
shades of myself in some characters and some characters like reach in and find a part of me that I didn't know I had but haven't really played a character like myself now. And do you have like a dream role of sorts? I don't have a dream role like I think I like being challenged by anything different but I would love to do something around music and not like the cheesy music like you know I saw the notes flying in the air kind of thing but like more just really how it is for musicians. One actor from the past or present you wish you could be? I don't want to be anybody but me. I'm really happy being me. <laughs> Great answer. Best advice you've received? The best advice I've received is actually again from my dad. He's like, don't do anything that you'd be really ashamed to admit in public. So I stuck to that and I'm pretty okay. Last thing that made you laugh? The last thing that made me laugh was this really not very nice like video on the internet which was kind of mean but I laughed a lot. And do you want to maybe give the fans a little bit of It's context? just this guy jumping in the water but that's it. It was kind of mean <laughs> so I won't elaborate. Alright. My celebrity crush is blank. My celebrity crush so many but Javier Badar. Are you an early bird or a night owl? You know, I'm a night owl actually, but I'm starting to realize the benefits of early bird. I'm just not a morning person. I get how it's good for you and stuff, but I just love the night because people leave you alone <laughs> and you're calm <laughs> and you can just kind of suddenly the world goes quiet and it feels really good. Amazing. One director that I wish I could work with? The one director, Darren Aronofsky. Yeah. What's your comfort food? My comfort food is sambar sadam. Mm, very Tamilian, like that. Uh, you have a sibling, right? So one habit... I have a sibling, yes. Her so name is Akshara. one habit of your sister that irritates you the most? Nothing really irritates me about Akshu, except maybe that she's really not good at answering her phone. And she'll be like, sorry, I was taking a shower. Sorry, I couldn't find it. And I'm like, I'm, be I'm one of those people who has this like habit of like, even if somebody else's phone rings, I want to pick it up. Because I'm like, phone should not be ringing. They should be answered. So that's the only thing. So one thing that Akshara does that makes you go off? A lot of things she does make me go off. She's quite a cute little button person. Yeah. Uh, what's your favorite movie quote? My favorite? Mm -hmm. Um, I guess it's from the Godfather, like making someone an offer they can't refuse. Ooh, interesting. What's your favorite song and if you can sing like a line? I don't have a favorite song. I have like so many favorite songs so I can't pick just one. Yeah. And is there a song that you composed or sang that you love the most? No, I can't pick from my songs either. They're all like, some I really don't like but the rest I'm okay with but I can't just pick one over the other. They're all like my children, I can't choose. And uh, one message that you would like to give all your fans? All my fans, thank you. Thank you for loving me and always supporting me and it means so much. I mean, I say it but I genuinely, like I know a lot of people say I really want to thank my fans but I really do. Um, your love means a lot to me and I'm really, really thankful for it. Amazing. And that brings us to the end of the rapid fire. And Great. your fans are loving it. I think this, this has possibly answered all their questions. Okay. So let's get back to Behen Hoogie Devi. Yes. Your co-actor, Rajkumar Rao. Yes. Uh, amazing actor. I think with Trapped this year, I think he's yeah. really taken away the best. Raj is a very, very committed actor. And everyone, like even before I had started filming for Behen Hoogie Devi, I'd heard about his work and I'd seen his work. But I was pleasantly surprised to see that he's serious about his work, but he was a lot of fun. He, and in this kind of film, you need that kind of spontaneity and energy and, you know, we're playing like simple, fun people, you know, so you can't be all about it. So he was an amazing co-star to work with because it's really good energy to bounce off of. So I think, um, I think we worked well as a team to bring Binny and Gattu alive. Amazing. And what is this whole buy zone thing that's going on about this? Well, thing? I don't really bro zone or buy zone people, but I think it's a very common phenomenon, right? Like whether you want to do it or not, maybe the you know people around you, like your tata or chachi or mom or dad or grandparents, are like, you, you know, like if you can't, that platonic thing is always kind of looked at as suspicious. So you kind of like make them, you know, they kind of make him or her, like you know, teri ben jaisi hai kind of becomes like a normal 
you know, make them do it sort of a thing. And this movie kind of questions that as well, which is in the trailer as well, where Raj's character Gattu is like, is there ever really a guy who looks at a, you know, attractive girl and says, God, she's so attractive, I wish she was my sister. So, yeah, it's, it's, um, I've never by zoned anyone, but yeah. Uh, so you're saying you've never buy-zone anyone? No. Uh, what about friend-zone? Have you? I, you know, my friends are my friends. And if someone's attracted to me and I don't really think anything of it, then I'll just be like, sorry, you know, um, not happening. And then you can't really easily be friends with those people because then they'll kind of be like all like creepy and weird. So it's just better to no zone them for a while. And then you can become friends when everyone's like, calm down. So I think since you've just done a movie about uh, bro zoning, mm. uh, I think I'm going to ask you a question in two parts mm. from a girl's perspective and a guy's perspective. Okay. All right. So if a girl has a guy in her life who she doesn't think will actually materialize into a relationship, mm -hmm. and she wants to high zone him. Mm -hmm. What's the best way to do that, according to you? Talk about other guys and talk to them. Mean. Well, I think honesty is the best policy. You should just be like listen, this is how I feel and I don't want to lead you on and if he's an intelligent guy, he'd appreciate it and if he isn't intelligent, you don't want him in your life anyway. Alright, and uh, the guy's perspective now, he okay. really likes this girl and he wishes that, you know, something happens and this becomes mm -hmm. like... Uh, they could get together. They could get together, yeah. mm -hmm. but she is hell-bent on high zoning him. What would be your advice to him? Why is she hell-bent, first of all? Again, just, uh, you know, just be like straight up and be like, listen, babe, I kind of dig you. <laughs> and if she's all like, mm. so give it that, you know, there's that like two, three week period where it either gets like ultra weird or then they're like, no, nah, I actually kind of like you too. So you never know. And if she doesn't like you, move on. You'll find someone who likes you for exactly who you are. As cheesy as it sounds, it's true. You don't want to convince someone to like you. Amazing. Well, I think that's amazing, fantastic advice for, you know, all the aspiring love birds out there. <laughs> uh, so you have about seven, seven point five thousand people watching you live right now and the love is pouring from all over the country, in fact. Okay. Uh, people are saying good evening to you. So we'll quickly say hi. So there's an iPad right there. Okay. Uh, just say hello to a few people. We, you can also take some questions. Uh, I'll also pick out some questions in the meantime. Okay. Just say some highs and hellos to a few people. Someone has just said, kuch sharam karo. Are you sharam to amare khun mein nahi hai. Okay. Um, love a lot your dance. Thank you. They love it if you take their names, actually. Yeah, I know. Then, Kalyan um, Badal is saying, I've watched all your movies and I like all. I'll go to the top. Wait, because it's just best wishes for Brian Ogiteri. Thank you. Um, So Anurag Sinha is asking a very interesting question. Who's okay. your favorite Hollywood female actor? Who's my favorite Hollywood female actor? It has to be Kate Blanchett. I love her. When is your marriage and who's that lucky person, Hindu or Muslim? I don't like questions like this. The person is lucky. That's it. End of question. <laughs> um, would you work in Hollywood if you got a chance? Yes, I would. Please change your dress sense. Please change your sense. Oh, there. Nazar lagadi. Full nazar. Wait. Do you get a lot of internet trolls? Like, do you... Um, yeah, I mean, I do sometimes. But then I still do what I want, you know, because I love you guys, but I love myself just a little more. And what about Who is your languages? Do you have anything else coming up that that should be? Yes, I do. I have a um, film coming up with my father, Sabash Naidu in Tamil and Telugu, and Sabash Kundu in Hindi. And we're really excited for you to watch it. Mm, no, I will not. Uh, I don't even understand. Okay, this is a very interesting question from Akash Ori. Mm -hmm. He says, your parents are uh, very talented actors in the industry themselves. So did you feel any pressure when you entered movies? No, I didn't. You know, they were very encouraging and they always said, do what you want. Of course, they said, it, you know, work hard and do your best and keep, you know, at it. There'll be ups, there'll be downs, but you just keep consistent. So I didn't really feel, from outside I felt it sometimes, but it was so unrealistic, so I never really took it very seriously. And then, 
how is your relationship with Charan? Oh yeah, Charan is one of my really good friends. Working with him was so nice. He's one of my most favorite co-stars because he's like just really positive on set and helps everyone. So it was very, very nice. Um, how are you? What quality should a man have to date you? Mm, he should just be a nice person and fairly intelligent. And then you are inviting new, inviting or inventing? Please say my name, Vijay. Hi, Vijay. Um, <laughs> Vijay's day is made. <laughs> All right, okay, so I have an okay. interesting question for you. Uh, since we're talking about Behen Hogi Tevi, mm -hmm. we have three zones. Mm -hmm. High zone, there's friend zone, and we couldn't come up with a third, like, clever one, so it's called date zone. Date zone? Date zone. Okay. So now you have to pick three leading Bollywood actors no. and put them in each category. High zone will be Salman Khan because <laughs> he's the bhai. <laughs> um, Friend zone. Friend zone, all of them, they're so like friendly. nice and friendly. <laughs> Date zone, mm, haven't really thought about it yet. Maybe no. no like interesting celebrity crush that you might just... No. <laughs> okay, when I was young, I really liked Charu Khan, but I wouldn't, still wouldn't put him in like the date zone. Yeah, that's true. Although yeah. I think Shah Rukh Khan would be amazing on a date. I think you would just be like movie. Yeah, maybe just movie. one date with Shah Rukh Khan would be like the best date of your entire life. Yeah, plus I think he's just so chivalrous. And yeah, he's just so well-mannered and lovely. Amazing. All right, Vajri, this has been amazing, like, talking to you. And it was great fun. Thank you so much for coming to My pleasure. Office. Thank you. We had a great time. Uh, before you go, uh, please, if you can just address all your fans and uh, give them a message. And it'd be amazing if you actually mix up the languages and give them a message in all okay. the different languages that you can. Andre ki namaskaram, sabko namaskar, yallar ko vanakam, and thank you all so much for all your love. It was really fun chatting with you, the nice ones, and uh, it was really fun chatting with all of you, and I would really love for you to go see my film, Behenogi Teri, releasing tomorrow, 9th of June. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Bye.